Hello there, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. What is going on, everybody? I am Mr. Unprofessional, and uh, as always, first, there's wood. Turn that wood into planks, create a crafting table, place the crafting table, make sticks, and then your first set of tools, or more like tool. And look at this, we have stone right here. Collect some stone, advancement, all right. Well, that's not terrifying or anything. Oh, but there's coal. Oh, yeah, let's risk it. Oh, cool. It ends right here. Get some coal. Make your second set of tools. This time, we're getting an axe. Oh, no way. We have sheep right here. Look at this. Perfect. Uh, you might want to look away for this. And now we can make ourselves a bed. Is this the perfect start or what? Now I'm going to collect a little more wood. And let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen in this series. I believe this is actually season 10. <laughs> <laughs> season 10 of our hardcore worlds and uh, we haven't ever made it past episode 3 if you if if you know you know okay it's it's a thing here uh, on this channel but i think this is the one <laughs> i say that every time but uh, yeah this this is the, one of these has to be the one uh so we are gonna look around and i don't really see anything around us Ooh, that's Kind of cool. Interesting. Is that shattered or what is that? That'll be interesting. So I think what I'm going to do in this series, we are going to concentrate on building. I don't ever really concentrate on building much. We concentrate on farms and, and kind of surviving, you know, but this time we're going to build more and maybe <laughs> maybe that way we can we can survive a little longer than usual so yeah let's get to it we have a little bit of materials this is spawn in case you didn't know and uh, we're gonna make a chest is there a chest is there enough uh, yeah there's enough and this is our very first chest where we're gonna put our stuff so first off we're gonna make some torches and we're gonna go back into this area right here and light it up because i don't want any crazy spawnage going on I'm also going to continue getting this bit of coal here. There we go. And we're going to continue lighting it up in this direction as well. Uh-huh. It looks like we have a lava pool over here. Let's check it out, shall we? Very nice. This is going to come in handy. This is pretty cool looking, I think. Wow, that's cool. Will you look at that? That looks treacherous. Maybe we'll do something with that. Maybe we'll just use it as a backdrop. I don't know. But uh, for now, we are staying far away from what seems like certain death. <laughs> Back to spawn, shall we? Ooh, what's this? All right, so I think now it's time to build ourselves a furnace. And I know usually the cardinal rule is to not cook food in furnaces. Mm, should I do it? <laughs> I don't really know if I should do it or not. Uh, I have coal. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will just do the campfire method and save the coal. I think I think that's probably the best thing to do. And here we go. Campfire. Let's place our bed down. And there is day number one. All right. I gotta say, that's kind of cool how we just ended up at the foot of that amazing mountain. That looks pretty ominous in the distance, don't you think? Let's go in here, change the settings a little bit. Maybe we'll make it 15 and you get more of a view. Ooh, it goes even further. Look at that. I like it. Okay, hopefully the 15 isn't going to uh, drop my frames too much. Let's cook some food. And uh, I think we're going to continue deforesting. I think that's the right word. This area here. And we're going to get ready to build ourselves a storage area slash bed area. Uh, no idea what it's going to be like, but we're going to make it nice and simple and easy. Easy peasy. We're also at some point going to have to figure out food. So I wonder if we shouldn't actually concentrate on on the food aspect right now because I don't really know what I'm gonna do as far as food is concerned. Um, hmm, what should we do about food? We don't have iron and I'm not going to go on an adventure to get iron at the moment. So uh, let's venture, what's this way? Oh, look at this. We are like in a valley of sorts. Look, mountain there, hill there, mountain over there. There's a mountain over there. Is there a mountain on the other side? That would be like the perfect valley. Let's see. Let's go up on this little hill and take a look. Oh, uh, there's no mountain on that side. But maybe, maybe, hold on. No, no, it looks like it's a flower biome over here. Look at this, plains. Oh, this is, this is like the perfect area to have spawned at. Okay, food, food, food. What do we do for food? No idea. There's pumpkins. Can't really eat pumpkins forever. There's cows, but I don't know about the cows. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we can set up a quick little wheat farm with no water. I don't know how we're going to get the water. Hmm. And so, 
Our first dilemma, what do we do about food? So I know that we killed those sheep earlier to, you know, make that bed right there. But I'm thinking in the series, our thing could be, you know, kind of no animal edge. Does that make sense? No eating animals. Why? I don't know. <laughs> It seems like a cool challenge. So that challenge, I guess, begins now because I don't know what to do for food. And uh, we don't really, we have one mutton, which we got, you know, like I mentioned when we got that bed and no iron to make a bucket for a field, for a wheat farm. Ah, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, okay, let me look here. This should be the spawn chunk here. Uh huh, let's, let's make a hoe and we'll go from there. So. I'm gonna go right here and that's what we're gonna do there and then oh, we're gonna hurry up and plant these before the land dries out there we go those will grow very slowly without water but I think that's our next mission our next mission is to go find ourselves ah, some iron and I know I said I wasn't gonna do the iron thing but I'm gonna have to in order to get a bucket I just need three that's it we're at level 97 and we're not gonna go down we're gonna try to go up and make Maybe, just maybe, if it's tall enough over there, we could get some iron. Uh, I think up is safer than down. I don't know why I think that. Uh, should I bring my bed? Probably should bring my bed. Alrighty, here we go. Climbing the mountain. You know, this waterfall here makes things a little easier. Because we could just swim up this thing. And uh, hopefully there's some iron up here. Looks like there's some coal. Alright, we don't need the coal. Well, we do need the coal, but that's not what we're looking for right now. Alright, here we are at the top of the mountain. Is that... Oh, goodness. The powdered snow freaks me out. Oh, look, there's a goat. There's another goat over there and no iron. <laughs> we are at level 166. We should be seeing some iron around here somewhere. Oh, if I die this early, it's not going to be. I'm not going to be a happy camper. Okay, here we are. Top of the mountain. Oh, there's another goat. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, iron. Oh, iron. Where are you? Uh, I don't see any iron. Shouldn't there be iron at level 186? I think so. I don't know where the heck the iron is. I suppose that's day two. I didn't bring a shovel or anything. There's coal, right? Right. Did you see that goat? It was like freaking out, man. Nope. No iron. Well, that's a bummer. Maybe if we go this way, there'll be some iron. Maybe, maybe. Oh, goodness. Iron. Nice. I knew I'd find you. Oh, just one? Oh, no. There's a baby. Oh, man. I got damaged. Does... You think there's a spawner over there? I don't have any weapons or anything to take on that baby. Can he... I think he actually can get to me, but he's, like, too dumb to know it. <laughs> okay. There you go. Look at that. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I thought I was going to die. Yeah, we're professionals here, folks. Oh, I didn't want to go underground. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just venture a little in here. Maybe there's... If we get lucky, we just need one more iron, folks. One more... Oh, there's the iron right there. Nice. Nobody kill me. Nobody kill me. Oh, look at this. And we get a bonus iron. Ooh, a couple bonus iron. All right, let's get out of here. I am getting out of here. But not before taking this coal. All right, look at that. Seven iron and... And we are headed back home. Back home, and as we should have expected, nothing has grown. Actually, one has kind of grown, but not really. So let's pull up the chunk border again. And I actually think that one died. One, two, three, four. This guy here. Oh, we have to make that bucket and go find some water. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have to smelt this up first. I knew that. While that smelts up, let's see if we can find some more seeds. All right. 21 seeds and some iron later. We can finally make ourselves our first bucket of the world. And uh, the wrong kind of water world. We need, we need, we don't need rain. Go away with your rain. Oh, goodness. Okay, all right. That's all good. It's all good. Let's go find some water, I guess. This time, we're going to head in this direction. Oh, man, we're getting hungry, folks. That is not good. Come on, let me find some water. Where's the water? There is no water. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy far. There's chickens. We could eat the chickens if, you know, we weren't not eating animals. <laughs> oh, you know, when you're starving... 
Chickens look oh so delicious. Okay, there is no water over there. And this mountain is huge. Oh, goodness. And I am running really low on food. What am I going to do? I have some rotten flesh that I might have to eat. Although, would rotten flesh mean I'm eating animal stuff? <laughs> I don't think so, right? I'm eating the undead. That doesn't count. We'll make the rule. We'll amend the rule. Uh, peaceful, or what is it called? Peaceful mobs? Idle mobs? Peaceful mobs? No, no eating peaceful mobs. That's the rule. Wait a second. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Is that a pink sheep? No way. It is a pink sheep. Aren't those super rare? I think these are super rare. What do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> how do I save the sheep? How do I, how do I make them not despawn? Okay. Let's see if I can make a quick and dirty pen here. Will he despawn? I think, I think, I don't want him to despawn. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I've done some research, and yes, in fact, that sheep right there is quite rare in Minecraft. 0.164% chance of that sheep uh, spawning naturally. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to make some of these blocks. We're going to see about making a boat. Yes, a boat. And we're going to try to lure him, him into the boat. We're gonna lure the sheep into the boat. Come on, get in the boat. Get in the boat. You can do it. <laughs> Victory! Nice. Now, from what I've read, that sheep will never despawn as long as it's in a boat. Oh, and as long as it doesn't get eaten by wolves. So th that's that's uh, that's a key too. Okay. So I think uh, you know it's a bummer. Boats can't go uphill because I think I I can get in there. Maybe nope. Wrong button. Okay. I can. I can row the boat, but I don't think I can go upwards with the boat. So we're just gonna slowly row this boat. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Pushing the buttons. Look at this. Sheep in a boat. <laughs> we're gonna make our way as close as we can to our base, and uh, we still need water. So we're gonna we're gonna try it and see about getting some water. Maybe, maybe somehow we can get this sheep to, to hang out. We might even put it in like a hole uh so the wolves don't get them excuse me cow yeah, i think that's as far as we're gonna get with the boat oh goodness this whole food situation is not the greatest thing on the planet i'll tell you what it'd be nice if one of you was oh goodness well it looks like this is the source block for this whole thing and i am going to take it because i need the water sorry not sorry at the same time we have three food which is not good <laughs> <laughs> that is not a good thing. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Am I going to starve? I don't think we can eat pumpkins. I can't run at this point. You know, if worse comes to worse, I may have to. I may have to. <laughs> I may have to take out a, a poor innocent little animal. I don't want to do that. You know what I'm going to do? Before I go back to the base. Oh, man. I'm stressing out, you guys. I'm freaking out. So I'm kind of hoping we have enough to protect this fella. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. I guess we're using some wood, too. We're going to enclose the sheep to make sure nothing gets him. He's not suffocating, right? You're not suffocating, buddy? All right. I think he'll be all right in there. I think the sheep will be just fine. All right. Okay. Back at the base. Finally can get the water in there. And hopefully that grows before I starve to death. Yeah. That's, that's a, yeah. <laughs> We're going to hope. Can we, can we eat honey? Will honey, will honey work? Let's make another one of these. Oh, we need shears. I think I have, I, okay. I can make shears. All right. Can we eat honey? That is the question. We're going to go up here. I saw a bee somewhere. So there must be a beehive around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if we're putting a label on things, we are vegetarian, not vegan. <laughs> so we do eat animal products. We don't eat animals. Okay. We got that. There is some honey. Can we eat the honey? No, no, we cannot eat the honey. Oh, that's cool. It won't let us eat the honey. Alrighty. Well, I guess uh, it was starving to death on uh, day three. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great start. Let's expand this farm, shall we? And we're going to plant the rest of this wheat. And now we wait. I wish we had some glass. Maybe we could drink the, the honey if it was in a bottle, you know? But it looks like we can't really do anything with the honey. So uh, we must wait. Did that take forever? <laughs>
But we finally got ourselves four. And you know what's funny? In the middle there, I realized I could eat these apples. At least I think I can. Yes, yes, I can eat the apples. So, you know, I think I'm going to save the apples. I'm going to make myself this one piece of bread. And this guy here, we're going to go get our sheep. So, uh, yeah, with two hunger left, we now have a little more than two. And we're maybe just eat one apple. There we go. All right. I think that makes me a little more comfortable. So let's let's leave those to grow. Hopefully our hunger doesn't go crazy trying to get this sheep back over here. Still have no idea how I'm going to enclose it. But yeah, let's go get this pink sheep. And uh, hopefully hopefully then we have a little more food to deal with. Oh, I almost fell. Here, little sheep. Hopefully he's still in there. Are you still there? Are you, are you in there? Yeah. Hey there, buddy. Okay, let's break this boat. That's going to be tricky. There we go. Aha. Now come this way, young sheep. Oh, where'd he go? Come on, buddy. And here we are back at our base. Now, where am I going to put you? No idea. Um, maybe over here? Yeah, maybe like right here. But, huh, no, not really, not really sure. Just hang out there, buddy. All right, let's make a pen really quickly. Oh, no, where'd he go? Oh, there he is right there. We're good. We're good. Come here, buddy. Come on in here, buddy. This is your new home now. Sweet. Nice. That is a great start to our collection of animals. And uh, that's a really good start. Like I mentioned earlier, 0.16 something. <laughs> <laughs> really rare to find a pink sheep naturally spawned in the world. So, man, this is this is a good start. I have a good feeling about this season. Now, it looks like there's maybe some more wheat that we can collect. And I might have to move all this stuff out of the way. And look at this. We have enough for some more bread. Now, we're just going to reset up our setup right over here, maybe. This is a good spot. And we're going to make a couple more chests. So now at the beginning of day seven, we are moving right along here as we take a random screenshot. We're going to get started on collecting the materials we need for our, well, our starter home slash storage area. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what's going to happen, but I do need a lot of coal, unfortunately, because I want to make some stone. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of the cobblestone, but we have enough to at least get started on this. Yeah, let's get some of that stone started and see how far it gets us. We need coal. We need some wood. Well, some more wood. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure as far as design goes, but I do know that in order to get the chests going, we need a lot of wood. And uh, no, no, yeah, that's that's all I know right now. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going to build this thing, but I do know I need materials. So yeah, let's get to material hunting. We're going to go in here and collect some more of this cobblestone and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see you in the next clip as it starts raining. That's awesome. Is it? dark again or is this a storm what is this what's what's happening right now i think it's a storm we're, we're gonna just sleep through that so i guess we're day eight now oh did you see that lightning that just struck over there that almost killed me i feel like that almost killed me that, that was horrible that was terrifying all righty we have ourselves a bunch of coal and i'm hearing all these zombies you see that zombie groan right through here so i'm curious either it's a cave or there's a spawner maybe but we're gonna we're gonna investigate it'd be nice if it was a spawner you know for xp purposes only really oh and possibly we could get a villager out of the deal mm, no definitely not this way okay let's go back here maybe they're down a ways oh oh i almost fell in there do you see <laughs> oh no there is a zombie spawner though that is freaking cool man oh my pickaxe okay 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 what do i do what do i do okay no nope. i'm all scatterbrained okay we're gonna need to light it up in there without them really getting to us let's put this back there and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna dig this out a little bit here this seems about right we're gonna go a little over here and i'm guessing that this one here close close am i i can't get that oh man i wish i could get that oh there's a baby in there that's not good okay all right i think i could take them you know the really brave way oh goodness Look at this. We got ourselves our very first spawner. It's a zombie spawner, but that's okay. We can make that work. Now, what do we have in these chests? Ooh, a name tag. 
that's definitely gonna come in handy. A few bones, some rotten flesh, melon seeds, gunpowder. Oh, nice. What about in this one? Our very first music disc, Cat. Okay, cool. <laughs> some more rotten flesh. Ooh, some pumpkin seeds, some beetroot seeds, a couple of buckets, and our very first horse armor. You know, I don't really do much with horses, and I don't think we have a saddle yet, but we could probably do something with that. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. We have plenty of materials for now, so we're going to head out of here, and uh looks like it's nighttime, which is probably not a good thing. Oh, it's nighttime. I am scared that there's mobs out here. There is mobs. Let's just sleep really quick. All right, look at this. 48 stone. We're going to put some more coal in there and some more cobblestone. We're going to put our loot in this chest. And look at this. We even have more wheat. And we are on our way. We have two more bread and uh, we have one left. That's okay. We're making ourselves some stone. We have a few buckets and a spawner. So now what? Now let's see our material list here. And you know, I think I'm actually going to make another furnace to speed things up a bit. I believe now we can make a stone cutter. I think this is how it's done. No. Oh, I might need iron. Do I need iron? No. Let's look it up. We do need iron. We just don't need slabs. And we're down to one piece of iron. Now, while these things smelt up, I'm curious where we're going to put this beautiful building we are going to call home for the foreseeable future. Now, let's take a look here. We are looking. We are looking. You know, I'm thinking we put it right up here. So let's get rid of this grass and take a look once it's all clear. Yeah, I'm thinking right up here. But I think we need to do a little bit of landscaping first. We don't have any dirt. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough dirt really to do anything. Let's start filling some of this in here. And like that. And we'll fill in this back part here too. Alrighty folks, we have full health. We have full hunger bar, meaning we're not hungry. Two extra bread. We are doing fantastic here in this new world. So now it's time to build. And uh, for that, we're going to the time lapse. So cue the music, roll the clip, and I'll see you on the other side. And just like that, we have ourselves a starter base. Well, starter home, starter storage. Yes, it didn't come out exactly how I wanted, but I think it's okay. <laughs> it's expandable, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking this wall here will eventually come out a little further this way once we get rid of that hill there. And if we step inside, we have ourselves, well, pressure plates, of course. We have ourselves a nice little homey feel in here. We have named chests as far as we have them filled. You know, we have stone, we have cobbled stone, andesite, and dirt, along with wood, ores, and uh, flora meaning plant stuff <laughs> pretty much so yeah 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 this is nice oh and that's our heaters by the way made it look a little fancy it's it's a heater okay just just go with it and back here we have ourselves a nice little porch where we can admire the mountain i like it i like it a lot and look at that we have 16 bread and we have a little extra wheat so things are going good we are on day 20 and i think what it's time for we are gonna do a little bit where did i where did i go i don't even know where i went i think it's this way we are gonna do something with this spawner i think it's this way no where did did I leave that thing? Right over here. Yes, there it is, this way. Now, without iron, this is, this might take a little while, but I think I think we can do something with this. Quick and dirty and simple. We should be able to do something. We, well, I don't know. We don't have, hmm, maybe, okay, maybe not. See, I was thinking we could do a bubble column elevator thing, you know, with a killing chamber and everything, except for we aren't going to the nether right now. We need soul sand for that, and I'm not doing that right now. 
No siree. So, yeah. Maybe we can set it up in anticipation for it. Hmm, what else would we do? I wonder, maybe we can go find some paper. Yeah, maybe we can find some paper. We'll save the mob farm for another day. We don't need all that rotten flesh anyways. Although, XP would be nice. And it's nighttime. That's, that's, that's cool. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm on fire. Oh, wandering trader. I wonder what he's trading. I mean, I don't have any emeralds or anything, but what do you have? Nothing, nothing good. Okay, well, you know, they have leads. I could use the leads. Ooh, that is really dangerous. Yeah, that is almost certain death. We are going to plug those holes there because I am not trying to die. Not today. Thank you very much. You guys, however, it is not your lucky day. The look away. What I was going to say is we're going to start shearing this guy. Look at that. Two pink wool. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now I'm thinking I need to make another bed. So we're going to find a couple more sheep. Oh, look at that. Three. Perfect. And we're going to make ourselves another bed. I would like to get some sugar cane going somewhere along with another bucket of water would be nice. Okay. So let's go out into the world and see ooh, uh, and see what we can find. We have gone uh, that way a little bit. We've gone that way a little bit. Uh, we've gone that way, yes. Okay, I think we're going to go that way and uh, see what is beyond the horizon. It would be nice if we could find a village. A village would be nice. Oh, look at this, a pack of black wild horses. Oh, these guys are cool looking. If they don't despawn, I might come back and say hello. Maybe put a saddle on them. <gasps> My wishes have come true. Look at this. A village. And not too far from the base. Hello, villagers. I have come in peace. And uh, to raid your loot. But the, you guys don't worry about that. Ooh, paper. And I'll actually take that chest, as a matter of fact. I will also take your blast furnace. Oh, no way. Look at this. A diamond horse armor. And a helmet with a few more iron. Oh, this is our lucky day. I will also take this brewing stand. We don't quite need it yet, but we might. And I think for our final event, we are going to take these hay bales, which will ensure food for the foreseeable future. We are also going to check if any of these are carrots. Yes, carrot. Ooh, I'll take the potatoes too. So we got the carrots. We got the potatoes. And I forgot to press record. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie to you. D don't look at me like that. I'm shamed. I'm shamed. After so long of doing this, I still forget to press record, okay? All right? We're moving on from that. But look what we found. A ruined portal. Don't worry. There wasn't really much in there. There was some gold pants, a fire charge, this golden apple, and uh, I think there was some ingots. Those ingots right there were in there. Uh, and that was it. We are looking for sugarcane, and uh, we still haven't found any. So now you're all caught up, okay? We're, we're going to ignore the fact that I forgot to press record. I pressed record. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> now, which way should we go? I have a feeling there's going to be sugar cane right around the corner here. And I don't have a boat. Should I get a boat? Oh, goodness. Good thing we're not an ultra hardcore. That would have sucked. Let's take a look around the corner here and see if there is sugar cane. I'm not seeing any. Where is all the sugar cane? Come on now. Maybe I should get a boat. Okay, I think I'm going to make myself a crafting table. And we're going to make ourselves a boat. I think it'll make travel a little quicker. Boat. Check. Crafting table. Check. And here we go. We're off to find the sugar cane. Now, I think I'm going to continue going in the same direction as I was before, which is north. So we're going to go right into this cove here. And uh, yeah, we're going to get out of the boat and continue on foot. Oh, there's a kitty. We don't have any fish, though. Um, Is this the same? Is this the same village or a different village? I think... I think this is a different village. No, this is the same. How is this the same village? There's no way this is the same village. It is the same. What? How is that possible? Oh, because... Oh, that is so weird. Oh, I see what happened. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. <laughs> that, that, yeah, mm -hmm. we know what we're doing. We, we know what we're doing, okay? And uh, still no sugar cane. What happened to all the sugar cane? And now apparently we're in an infinite birch forest. Well, that's cool. I'll take one of these. Why not? <gasps> mushrooms. Oh, dark oak. We will take some of these brown mushrooms with us. I mean, red mushrooms. I mean, red mushrooms. Okay, both of our axes have broken. And 
I'm curious if I should upgrade, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a shield first of all, and I don't have any stone, so it looks like I might have to settle with an iron axe. Our first iron tool of the game, and uh, yeah, we're going to get some of these brown mushrooms too. Cool. 12 brown mushrooms and 17 red mushrooms. I think that'll do for now. Now let's continue our adventure to find sugarcane. And oh, look at that. Sugarcane. Perfect. All right, we got what we came for, and we are now going home without dying. Yeah. Oh, there's a giant ravine here. All righty. How do I get back? I can see home. It's right there, so close. Nice. All right, we are back, and with loot. Oh, goodness, I thought for some reason my sheep was gone. And, uh, you know, since... Oh, I don't have any room. I'll have to come back and shear him. You know, I was thinking, somewhere around here, we could put a nice big statue of our friend Pink Sheep, uh, which we have to name one of these days. Not really sure exactly what their name's going to be, but um, Pink Sheep for now. Yes. Giant statue. Okay, let's unload our goodies and end off the episode with some sugarcane planting. And I'm just not realizing I don't have any water. So we'll have to figure that out too. All right, everything's put away and we're gonna make ourselves a cartography table. It was the whole point of getting paper was to make ourselves a map. And we're gonna move that and put that there and we're gonna put that there because it looks cool and we're gonna put this where are we maybe right there we could do that we could do that except for we need one of these just to make it look a little better yeah i like that very nice very nice i say oh and it looks oh it looks like there's a party out there uh i don't want to be invited to that party and with that ladies and gentlemen it brings us to day 24 now should we continue on to day 25 and make it an even 25? What else could we do around here right now? I'm running out of footage availability, but what could we do around here? I guess we could find another bucket of water to make an infinite source. Ah, uh, there's that one. Um, oh, you know, oh, I could have, I could have gotten all the water I needed. And I didn't even think about it. Okay, let's head this way here and uh, we'll get that little bit of water. It won't look as cool, but if we remember, if you guys remind me, I can put the water back once we have an infinite source. So hopefully this won't take us all day long, but with an infinite water source, we can actually plant our sugarcane. So here we go. Let's scale to the top of this here. We'll take the water and ride the wave down. Now, where do I make an infinite water source? Well, considering this looks like it's going to be our tree farm, we might as well make our farm right over here for the sugarcane. It's going to be a quick and dirty little farm. We're going to make it right in here, I think. Uh, right here. And I don't have a shovel, so we're just going to have to dig this out manually. Go eight blocks deep. Cut this out of here really quickly. A little bit of landscaping. Put that down. Goes to the end. And we didn't bring... Okay, we didn't bring our thing. Oh, you know what? We need to make an infinite water source here. Okay, hang on. Hang on. This is going to be our sugarcane farm. I forgot about the water source. We're just going to go right here. Uh, right, right, right here. Um, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. Oh, here we go. Three. Perfect. Quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. All right. There's one. Uh, bar you for a second. There's two and infinite water source. Perfect. Now we'll replace you really quickly before you die. <laughs> and now we can replace. I think I'm actually going to have it go that way. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go back into our home here and get the sugar cane. And we have 22 sugar cane here. So we should be able to fill this whole little area right here. Nice. Very nice. That's that's a good start, I think. Over time, that'll give us plenty of sugar cane. Now that didn't take all day. So I'm going to make the rest of this into paper. And I'm pretty sure I have a little more iron here. We'll make uh, one bar, it looks like. And we should be able to... Uh, we should be able to make a map how do i make a map a compass right i think i might need redstone for a compass yeah i think i need redstone for a compass and i don't have any redstone okay well it was a good idea at least at least now we have ourselves some paper so nice okay very good all right now i think the day's 
The day's about half gone. We're gonna shear this sheep here. Yes, yes. Oh, come on now. Oh, perfect. Let me in there. Oh, man. Okay, all right. We're just gonna have to venture in five wool. Perfect. Don't go anywhere. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we're also, I think, going to make some wool car. What is it? Carpet? I think it's carpet. Aha. Uh -huh. Carpet with two of those. Perfect. And we're going to make our way in and out of this area right here. So, yeah. Okay. So maybe right here. Uh huh. We'll make multiple entrances and exits since we have the wool. There we go. Now we can jump in and out. Perfect. Very nice. All right. And with the sun setting in the distance, we are going to finish off day 24 with a little bit of landscaping. Uh, if you remember earlier in the episode, I mentioned we are going to be expanding this area, uh, which in hindsight means that we have to move the chests. I guess that would be foresight. Uh, it's not too, it's not too bad. I think we might need to move those there. Um... I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Uh, but we're going to move those uh, over and make it a larger hallway at least, which means that we have to take care of this area up here. So uh, to end off the day and episode one here on this hardcore series, I believe season 10. Oh, let me check. Let me check really quick. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back and it's actually season nine. My apologies. We are in season nine here in this hardcore world. And you know what? With the pink sheep and the village and all of that stuff, I think this is the one. I think we aren't going to get to season 10 for a very long time. Now that is my prediction. Uh, if you guys aren't new here, leave it in the comment section. How long do you guys think I will make it here in this season? It's going to be, it's going to be a fun one. I think uh, we got plans, man. We're going to build not farms, but we're going to take it slower, even slower than the last time. <laughs> we took it pretty slow than the last time we still died. So yeah. All right, sun setting, day 24, on to day 25, and I thought that was another pink sheep, <laughs> but it's a pig. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the episode and the end of day 24, putting us into day 25. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming, and thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy my content, uh, first of all, don't forget to check it out. There is a playlist up right in the corner of your screen that'll lead you to the rest of the channel. And uh, if you enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There is no notification bell that lets you guys know when we post so that you don't miss a single episode. This is going to be a good one, guys. This is going to be fun. This is going to be the one we reach 100 days on. We've never reached it. This has to be the one. It has to be. It just has to be. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.